Hi there, it's Farmer Brad, and today I'm going to show you a way of growing plants and vegetables hydroponically. Now, I saw the other day that MI Gardener was creating these videos, so I'm pretty much going to be following his steps, and I'll put a link to his video in the card in the upper corner of this video um, but I'll just so, show you what I got so far so I picked up a 17 gallon uh, plastic container that has this grid on the top and I got it from Menards for about $7.99 the idea is you have the container that's at least five inches deep and then you take these little cups drill a hole in the top of these baskets with a hole uh, drill bit and this is 1 and 7 eighths inch which will end up being perfect for this 2 inch cup so then that will go in there and then he also recommended he also recommended uh, this medium that you start. Uh, this is rock wool grow cubes, and there's 48 in here. And you can see there's these small little holes in here, and that's where you put a couple seeds. You get them wet and get the seeds started in there. Then I also have these clay pebbles. I'll, that once it gets going I'll be able to put over the top to help keep the moisture in and then I ordered a three pack Epsom salt some calcium nitrate which is 15.5 0 hyphen 0 and then I got master blend for 1838 tomato and vegetable formula but we'll go ahead and figure out where we want to put the holes and the lid and get that stuff. Okay, so after quickly re-watching MI Gardener's video, he, with this size of container, he ended up um, putting five plants in there. And since he knows a lot more about this stuff than I do, I'm just gonna go, go ahead with that. So yeah, the plan is to put one here, there, there, there and put one in the middle. Actually, I'm going to flip it over. Okay, so I don't have the exact adapter that's for this, so that's why I'm having difficulties with it staying secure. There we go. So this is a little sharp swivel blade that can be used to help sort of smooth out the edges and get rid of the extra debris. Okay, so there we have that. One down, four more to go. I'll put a link for one of these in the description, but it also works well for 3D printers and sort of cleaning up prints. But um, there we have five holes. And actually this uh, grid pattern works great so that uh, you can get an idea of where the spacing needs to be. They've already done a lot of the math work for you. Okay, so that's pretty good. Then I can put cups in here make sure that they fit all right and 
one more. There, that looks pretty nice. We'll go ahead and move on to getting these wet. So now I'm gonna prep these and get them wet so that then we can start uh, the seed sprouts. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put these in here and put this and I'll be doing the seed sprouts in these little cups and then put them in a plastic bag to help them germinate but that way I don't have to worry about it expanding too much and then trying to fit it down inside of the little cup. So now I got these all in here. Now I end up ordering the fall garden kits from MI Gardener and in there we have beets, lavender, onions, uh, dill, lettuce, parsley, a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna experiment and just try to see if I can grow Brussels sprouts in there. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to put four of these seeds down inside of here for the Brussels sprouts. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do one basil. I'll do two corn salad and then one oak leaf. I'm gonna do one oak leaf. Then what you do is you get a one gallon bag and put these in there and put it underneath the grow light or a window then wait for it to sprout. So then once it sprouts then I'll get to the process of mixing the solution and between now and then I'll also verify whether or not I have enough potential solution to mix. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoy as I try this experiment and thanks to my gardener for uh, showing this super easy way method of growing during the winter and uh, make sure to check out his videos and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.